I mentioned this earlier, I don't have a shoulder, so that's doing something. It's doing something weird over there, but literally. <laughs> Welcome back to another try on haul. Today we are going to be trying on pieces from Pray a Little Thing. So if you want to see that on a girl who's a size 20, 22, make sure that you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you never miss an episode from me, and let's get into this video. Y'all already know what the fan it is what it is but first i want to call out something so this is the photo when i placed an order for this two pack of shirts right do you see anything on this shirt do you see anything on this shirt so i'm assuming i'm getting a cute little graphic tee that says pretty little thing across the front um, in a very minimal kind of way, which is how I like my logos to be. I literally paid them for these oversized men t-shirts. Granted, I paid $20 probably for these two shirts, but it is so misleading. Like, PLT, y'all gotta do a little better and y'all could've just told us that these were regular, like, Hanes t-shirts. Mm-mm. Okay, so up next are these recycled blue wash split leg split hem <laughs> wide leg jeans i'm gonna get into them in a second but i gotta call out it's been such a hit or miss with pretty little thing denim um so i'm nervous i'm nervous i might be taking a couple of these to the tailor to have them fit me the way i need them to but it's been rough <laughs> so let's get into these pieces okay so there's a problem <laughs> the jeans are doing that like fupa buckle where and this is partially because i'm short-waisted and i'm really struggling with finding the right fit of jean beyond these pair these fit so well but they're not as wide and loose fitting as i would like to be able to wear <laughs> So when I saw these, I thought, like, wow, like these might work. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. These don't work. Um, and it's a it's a bummer. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to zip the bottom half of the shirt because <sighs> bright side, I'm feeling the shirt. I might cut or have the top lowered because being busty this is just really giving like choked but the jeans are not fitting see i would love for them to sit down here in a way y'all will see in the video these are just not working okay so let's talk about this top i saw this top on this model um, who is super curvy. She's got a little bit of a bust going on. And I was like, oh, that's cute. It's also melanated like me. And I was like, okay, I like that. Love this top. The top is something I could definitely wear to work. It's sexy because it's kind of, you can, you know, it's providing the illusion of, you know, being able to see through it. But you really can't. <laughs> you on, like, you honestly, you honestly can't. Um, and I love the fit. It's higher in the back. It's kind of got like this this is super flattering on me because it also accentuates the waistline this top is golden mm -hmm. this top is golden we love it but these jeans y'all like i'm so disappointed and now i'm struggling to see if i should try to return them or not i think i have to go back but i've had this package for a while i have to double check but um Y'all let me know what you think. What do you think I should do? Should I keep these, try to work with them? I'm leaning towards returning them or putting them up on my Poshmark because they don't fit. But yeah, you guys let me know if you're short-waisted like me, how are you able to wear jeans without that weird FUPA situation? Help me out, 
please. Okay, Louis. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to have it look tacky back here. <sighs> P.O.T. Killing it with the tops. This is super flattering. I love this sort of like wrapped design. I think it's really fun and sexy. And if I can find a pair of brown wide leg pants, um, like dress pants to go with this, it's a fit. But again, something going on with the denim. Um, and I understand being at a fast fashion level, but maybe it's about adding elastic into the waistband, especially at the back for women that are smaller in the waistline but maybe you know fuller in the hips not even about having a big butt but like your hips are full you know like me i have all of this at the side but i love the fit down here um this top i love because it gives me shoulders and i really don't have any <laughs> but i wish that this fit was a bit more tailored I don't need it snug. I don't need it leaving prints on my waistline at the end of the day. I just want it to be more snug. So yeah, y'all, if y'all see this top, I wish they made it in black and like a cream color. I have to look because this top is really cute. And I maybe would size up just because of how tight it is in the arms. I might want like a looser fit, but the top is A1. Y'all let me know what you think about these jeans. Should I return them? Should I maybe get them tailored? Maybe have someone add elastic at the back? Um, I'm really thinking about getting into doing that with my jeans. I don't know how much it would cost. Would you be interested in, in knowing about that? If you would, <laughs> leave. Why is there me no measuring tape emoji? <laughs> leave the word, get the elastic in the back of like like leave a comment that says put elastic in the jeans or something like that elastic in the jeans just say elastic in the jeans down below and i'll know that you guys are interested in seeing the befores and afters of what happens with the fit when that's done you know to the denim y'all let's get into the next pieces <laughs> So I decided to switch into one of the jeans that is my favorite when it comes to fit right now because um, the rest of the items in this video are tops and I don't want to have to be struggling <laughs> with holding the waistband in, you know, trying to forcing it to have you see how it should look. Um, I just want to talk about these pieces. So this white top is such a vibe. There's something so 90s about this that I'm really loving. Reminds me of like Nia Long, Janet Jackson, like Poetic Justice. Um, super sexy. Anything sheer is always going to be super sexy. But I love that it's so covered up and minimal makeup, maybe hair up minimal jewelry i just love the vibe of this um you guys let me know what you think of this top although it's sheer i could see myself sweating in this because it is like a polyester material like let's keep it real this is fast fashion <laughs> so definitely could have you sweating so maybe let's see how this looks maybe rolling up the sleeves a bit do we like yeah, I like that. <laughs> that definitely makes it a lot more casual as opposed to the long sleeve, more cash. You guys let me know what you think of this top. I'm gonna leave it on so that we can talk about our next piece, which is a blazer. So let's get into that piece. So you may have seen this on my Instagram feed. You may have not. If you have not, either you ain't following me or Instagram is up to its usual antics. But I have been eyeing this blazer. I think this is, I'll be honest with you. I think that this is more of 
a fall blazer fall spring transitional blazer than you know a summer vibe i will probably not be wearing this until the fall but i'm obsessed with this blazer it's got these dye to match covered buttons it appears to be double breasted which you don't see much and it's also lined and i was like um pretty little thing we need her she's a staple she's a neutral colored blazer but she's got some style she's got some pizzazz she's feminine she's a lady Ugh, let's put this on y'all <laughs> this is a vibe now can you imagine like hair up let's tuck that in and let's look presentable and not crazy that's better yeah there's i mentioned this earlier i don't have a shoulder so that's doing something doing something weird over there but i love this i love this the colorway is so chocolatey so pretty the pockets are real you just kind of have to go in and open them but this is so cute i love the bow on the shoulder it's the bow on the shoulder for me it really is but this would still be a pretty sick blazer without the bow it really like it really would it really would oh i didn't do it right okay there's an inner button that i'm supposed to supposed to help with the fit and i guess stop with the pulling yeah that looks a little better y'all let me know what you think about this blazer she's a vibe that was so easy for me to do like push the sleeves up because y'all know this could be worn with brown pants nude wide legs whatever but with denim y'all let me know what y'all think about this piece okay Louis. next we have another sort of soft semi sheer white button down but it's cropped and it's got this like cinchability that i'm obsessed with like you can literally cinch it in at the waist or if you want you can wear it out like this um if y'all know me you know i'm, I'm a cinch <laughs> so i love this i was nervous about how it was gonna look and fit you know with me being busty but it works and it's such a vibe um y'all these jeans are it <laughs> these jeans are it um so yeah i really love this look this is definitely something i would wear to the office easy to throw a blazer over um it's a fashion statement um reminds me of like old school gap shirts um, and the different variations that they would do with their button downs. But this is such a vibe. I love the oversized billowy sleeves. I think that makes this look really smart. I wanna pull out my thick black frames and lead a meeting. <laughs> so y'all let me know what you think about this top and we will get into our final piece which is another blazer, but it's a different cut for me. See you in a bit. Okay, so finally we have this cropped red blazer. Now, if you don't know, red is my favorite color. It's been my favorite color since I was a little girl. And there's just something super vibrant about this blazer. I'll be honest with you, when I saw it on the VLT website, it looked orange. And I'll put the photo up here. <sighs> Don't that look orange? But I was not upset when I opened, but it did say red in the, like on the color stamp. But y'all know people wanna call colors, whatever they wanna call colors, and then it's something else in, in person. But no, y'all, this is red. So let's put this on, see how she looks. Now my boobs coming out. <laughs> now, 
Now, when I picked up y'all, it's a fit. <laughs> when, I, when I saw this blazer, I knew I needed a cropped top to go under it. And the dimensions, the ratios, the proportions are doing what I need them to do. Y'all, I love this. I am, it's giving pirate, but in a good way. I love this look. I also love that it is a functioning blazer. So I can very well, you know, button this up. Let me do the inside button too. I always forget about the inside button because it helps with dragging. Y'all, I mean, it's cinching. My hips are not being hidden. I love this. I really love this. This bla if you get anything from this video, this blazer. This blazer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you've made it this far, you are the real MVP. Make sure if you have not already that you subscribe click that notification bell so that you never miss a try on haul from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.